special hurricane forecast outlook for 2016 for the Atlantic, Gulf of Mexico, and the Caribbean. Let's take a look what we've got going on here. Of course, we run through the list of names, and I think we will get down through a lot of these names, unfortunately. If we take a look, we've already had off one name here, the first name storm of the season here, Alex. Checking that off back in January, a hurricane or a storm, subtropical system to say the least. It was a subtropical, but nevertheless it had some tropical characteristics with it. It was Alex and it did pack quite a punch. It had anywhere from 70 to 80 mile per hour gusts. And we've already checked the box on that, so we're already down one storm. Here are my predictions. Here's what I'm thinking this hurricane season. I am thinking about above average hurricane season. About 16 named storms on the higher end of the scale here. I'm believing about nine of those will become hurricanes. And out of those nine hurricanes, I believe four of those could become major hurricane category three or higher. So why am I exactly thinking like this? Because last year we had an El Nino and we had a year where it wasn't, we could have had a blockbuster year, but we had El Nino. We had a lot of wind shear across the Atlantic. This year, it's going to be quite different. Take a look at the Pacific, the Eastern Pacific. The first part of the hurricane season, let's take from June all the way up to July in the beginning of August. Yes, we will have the warming waters off the coast of western coast here of South America, but that will be starting to taper off. We're already starting to drop below two degrees Celsius on the Enzo scale. This is the map of later on in the hurricane season. We're approaching peak hurricane season later in August, September, right around September 10th there, September 10th, September 11th into October. This will actually start to cool and this should push us from El Nino to potentially a weak La Nina by early fall. So this could get quite interesting. Uh, this will lighten up the wind shear across the Atlantic uh, Basin and the Gulf of Mexico. Now, there is one fly in the ointment here, and that could be across the Atlantic here, as you can see. I do have indications that there's still a lot of cold pool of water here across the Atlantic. And sea surface temperatures are running anywhere from two to as much as three degrees Celsius below normal. Now, that, that might not sound like a lot, but in the grand scheme of things, when you put it into a wide, large area, yes, that can be detrimental to tropical development. And as I said, it depends on how far south that colder water across the Atlantic North and North Central Atlantic Basin decides to move south. And some of that will move south. Now, that being said, I think the most popular storm tracks this hurricane season with that cold pool of water in mind. I believe it'll start to moderate by the middle to latter portion of the hurricane season. But nevertheless, as I said, wind shear will slacken up as the El Nino fades away slowly. And we will get a lot of these storms that come off the Cape Verdes. And a lot of them, I think, will make it, unlike last year where we had a lot of trouble getting some of these storms past the Leeward and Windward Islands here. They'll make it across into the Caribbean and into the Gulf of Mexico as well. We'll have a much more active Gulf of Mexico season, I believe, than 2015. Now, across the Atlantic, where it was much more active, especially around the Bermuda area last year, with that cold pool of water in mind, I think, yes, you will get tropical systems, but they will be weaker in nature. Now, heading closer to the East Coast here, I do believe there is that chance that we could have some hurricanes, even lots of tropical storms potentially moving up the east coast because the waters aren't as below normal as you approach the eastern coastline of North America here. So things are gonna get very interesting this hurricane season for 2016. I will re be reissuing new updates as the season progresses. As I said, our season actually started with subtropical storm Alex at the January time frame, so we're already off to a very early start. And as I said, El Nino fades and we potentially bring to a weak La Nina. We could be potentially looking at a revival of the 10 to 12 year average hurricane cycle that we've had above average. So I want you to stay tuned here to Meteo Mark at Weather Northeastern here for your hurricane authority on tropical systems for 2016. That's going to do it for this edition of Hurricane 2016 Outlook.